Hey guys, it's Ryan. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to knit. I'm going to go over all of the basics and keep it pretty simple because contrary to popular belief, knitting is actually pretty easy. It can seem intimidating at first, but we're going to keep it simple so you can hit the ground running. All you're going to need is yarn and two knitting needles and then you're ready to go. So getting started, first thing we need to do is we actually need to get the yarn onto the needles in the first place. So you want to take the tail end of the yarn. The tail end of the yarn is the end of the yarn and the rest of the yarn is going to be connected to this ball. You can just kind of let that be and just pull out enough yarn to be comfortable um, to work with. I always end up with like a pile of loose yarn here and it sometimes becomes a tangled mess and that's totally fine. So take the tail end of your yarn and we can put our needles aside for now. What we're going to do is we need to make a slip knot on the end of this yarn. So to make a slip knot, you want to take the yarn like this and with the tail end, flip it over the part that's connected to the rest of the yarn, just like this. So you make a little loop here. We're going to take two fingers and put it through this loop like this. And what we're going to do is grab the yarn that's connected to the rest of the yarn, so this end of the yarn. We're going to grab it with the two fingers and pull it through this loop that we created. So if you come up, you grab that part of the yarn and then just gently pull everything a little tight, but not too tight, just to, so it's snug. So you should end up with this nice little noose here that you can make tighter and looser depending on which end of the yarn you're pulling on. So with this loop, this is actually going to be your first stitch that you put on your needles. So take your needle, put it through the loop that you just made, and if you pull the end of the yarn that's connected to the rest of the yarn, everything should gently tighten. So the loop is going to tighten up on the needle. And you want to just give everything a little bit of a tug so it's nice and snug. Not too tight because you're going to be working with this. You want it to remain a little loose. It's okay if it moves around a little bit. Um, but just make sure that it's closed up on the needle. So this first loop is actually going to be the first stitch on our project. And the number of stitches that we put on this first needle is going to determine the width of whatever it is you're knitting. So if it's a scarf and you have maybe about 20 or so stitches, then you're looking at a scarf that's going to be about this wide and it'll kind of just grow out from there. And these needles that I'm using here are pretty short just because they're easy to maneuver for me for the video. But most knitting needles are going to give you a lot of space to create a pretty large project. To cast on more stitches, you don't need to make another slip knot. It's actually much easier than that. All you have to do is make more loops and we're going to put those loops onto this needle. Important note that I should have mentioned at the beginning also is that I am right-handed. So all of my instructions are going to kind of cater towards right-handed people. If you're left-handed, hopefully you can make it work so it's comfortable for you or maybe, I don't know, watch the video in a mirror or something. <laughs> um, but hopefully it's easy to follow along as well. So to get more stitches onto the needle, what we're going to do is just Gently wrap the yarn around your index finger like this. So you're holding the yarn in your left hand. Wrap the yarn like this, and it naturally is going to create a little loop around your index finger like this. And what we're going to do with this loop is we're going to slip it onto this needle, or we're going to use the needle and scoop the loop off of our finger. So you have the yarn, you kind of turn it a little bit so it creates a loop, and then just take the needle and scoop the loop up through the bottom and pull it off like this. And then just kind of gently pull it tight, not too tight. You just want it to be snug on the needle. So to do that again, you just wrap the yarn around your left index finger, take the needle, come up through the bottom and scoop the loop off onto the needle, just like that. And you keep going, doing a couple more. So each one of these is going to make your project wider and wider. As you go about this, you'll notice that you're forming a kind of ridge here where all the loops are kind of lined up. So right here, there's a nice little uniform edge of where all the loops are kind of looping over each other. So you have this nice little ridge. Feel free to space everything out to give yourself more room and it's okay if you grab it. But just make sure that that ridge doesn't get twisted. A lot of times, if you're gripping the needle or something, that ridge is going to get twisted around. 
So just make sure that you keep that ridge as straight and uniform as possible so you don't get anything mixed up or twisted. So I've casted on 18 stitches onto this needle and that's about as much as I can comfortably fit onto this needle. And I'm going to kind of space them all out a little bit just so they can have a nice little room to breathe between the stitches. Once you have the number of stitches casted on that you want, what we're going to do is we're going to turn the needle around just like this so we're on the back side of it. So we've got the front here, turn it around here so the yarn, the tail end of the yarn is on the back or the left side of the needle and the rest of the yarn here is right at the front of the needle. With your needle in this position, you can hold on to it with your left hand. It's okay if you touch the stitches that you just cast it on. Just make sure you're not gripping it too tightly so if anything gets twisted or, or messed up or anything like that. Just lightly hold it. And now we're going to start knitting. So this is the most complicated part, but this is the bread and butter of knitting. I mean, this is the actual knitting that we're gonna do. So take your second needle that we have, and right away we're gonna get into this first loop or this first stitch, and we're gonna start knitting this entire row of stitches. So to knit, this is how you do it. So you wanna take your first stitch here in the row. We've got, this is the yarn that's connected to the rest of it. Make sure you're not using the tail end of the yarn because that's not gonna give you anything to work with. On the front of your needle, you've got the rest of the yarn and you've got this first stitch here. Slide the stitch up to the end of the needle. It doesn't need to be too close, but don't worry about it falling off or flying away or anything like that, it's okay. And what we're going to do is this. We're going to take the second needle and take it through this loop up through the back side of the left-handed needle. So take your needle and put it to the left side of this first stitch and scoop it through the loop along the back side of the left needle, just like this. So you're creating kind of an X with the two needles. So I'll do that again just real quick so you can see. You've got the loop here, take the needle, take it along the left side of the loop, stick it up through the loop, and come up along the back side of the two needles. And then once you have that X, you're gonna take the yarn here. This is the yarn that's connected to everything else, the rest of the, the, the ball of yarn. And we're going to loop it around the back right needle, just like this. So slip it around the back right needle that's along the back side and pull it, not too tight, but give it a nice little tug. And it's going to be pulled between these two needles. So between the X, it's gonna come up through the middle of them come down here like through the bottom. And then you're gonna take the right needle, the one that's in the right hand, and we're gonna come down and scoop off this remaining loop. So come down through the loop, come up along the left side like this, and pull it off the left needle completely. And if you pull everything a little tight, it should look all right. Um, so that is knitting. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. It can be really weird and intimidating. And this does not, especially since this is just our first row, it does not look like we did anything. But I promise you it's going to get much clearer and easier as we go along. So moving right along, we're going to do the second stitch now. So we've got the second stitch up to the edge of this, uh, up to the end of this second needle on the left. Take the right-handed needle, come up through the loop along the back side. So you form a kind of X here. And then take your yarn, wrap it around the right needle in the back, and go through the two needles. So it's falling between the X. And then take your right needle, go down through that loop, and we're just gonna scoop it off. So we've got the right needle here. Just gonna go through the loop again and scoop it off like this. So one more time on the third stitch here, you go through the loop along the back side like this. Take your yarn 
And it's sometimes it's easy if you pinch. I've got my thumb and my middle finger holding the right needle as well. So part of this is so I can easily show you, but I mean, you can hold your needles however is comfortable for you. Eventually you'll kind of find a way that works best for you. But take the needle in the right hand, wrap it around the back needle there, go through the two needles, and then with the right needle, scoop off this remaining loop, just like this, okay? So this is knitting. You wanna do this to every single stitch on your row. You're going through that first loop, you're wrapping the yarn around, and then you're going down and looping, or pulling off that loop off the left needle. All knitting is, is just a series of loops. We're basically scooping the loop off the left needle, wrapping the yarn around, taking the loop off. So you're taking the loop off and in the process, you're creating or adding one new loop onto the loop. So it's a bunch of loops, basically. So you wanna do this to the end of the row. Hopefully it's clear what you're doing. Feel free to pause and yell at me <laughs> or rewind and watch it again. But hopefully those first examples was clear, but you're just gonna do this to the very end of the row and eventually you're gonna have a nice little buildup of rows. And once we get a couple more rows in, it'll be a lot more clearer what it is we're actually doing here. When you reach the end of the row, you'll have one last stitch. So here I am at the end of the row. I've got one last stitch here on my left-handed needle. All you do is you're just going to knit it just like you did with the other ones. So come up through the loop along, go from the left-hand side, go up through the bottom, up along the back side, and then wrap the yarn around the needle and scoop the loop off, just like you would any of the normal ones. When you're finished with that row, like I just did, you can kind of separate everything out nice and even and take a look at what we've done. So we've knit that first, the first stitches that we cast it on, we've knit those. So we've added an extra layer of loops onto those initial stitches that we cast it on. So it's slightly thicker, it's slightly longer and Knitting is just growing this out. So if this is a scarf, we're just gonna keep repeating this over and over again until it grows longer and longer. So with that first row finished, make sure that you have this nice uniform edge. Again, if you have a twist or something from holding it, it's gonna cause you some problems. So make sure that you find the edge and all of your loops are nice and uniform and, and going in the same direction. You've got this nice hard edge here on the end here. What we're gonna do now is jump right into the next row. So flip your work around like we did before. So now you've got your working yarn or the yarn that's connected to the rest of the ball of yarn here. And this is what we're gonna use. Make sure you don't use the tail end of the yarn on accident. Um, that would cause you some problems. So we're gonna hold the work again with our left hand and we're gonna jump right into this new stitch here that's on the end. So once again, we're gonna do the same exact thing that I showed you before. Take the right needle, put it through the first loop and come up along the back side. Then take the yarn, wrap it around the right needle and it's gonna be pulled through the two needles between the X and then take the right needle and we're gonna scoop this loop off of the left needle. So come down through the loop and pull it off. Once again, take the right needle, put it to the left of the loop on your left needle, put it through the loop and come up along the back side to create the X and then take the yarn, wrap it around the right needle, pull it through between the X and scoop off the loop. Go down and scoop it off. And then as you're going along, you can kind of slowly push the rest of the stitches up towards the end of the needle. That should kind of naturally happen, but in case it doesn't, you can 
give them a little nudge. But we're doing the exact same thing that I showed you on the first row. We're just putting the needle through, wrapping the yarn around, going down, and scooping the yarn off. Go through the loop, wrap it around, and then go down and scoop it off. Go through along the back side, wrap around, go down and through the loop. So hopefully this is becoming clear to you. If this is your first time attempting to knit, it can be confusing. <laughs> it can feel very uncomfortable in your hands and like you might be getting kind of sweaty and then like the needles and the yarn starts to do that squeaky thing that's like really uncomfortable. But I promise eventually you'll find a way that's most comfortable for you for holding your yarn and holding your needles. And eventually you'll just be knitting your own socks pretty soon. <laughs> I mean, this is really it. This is knitting. This is all you really need to know if you want to knit something. This video is actually, I guess, technically a, a reboot, I guess you could say, of my first video on this channel where I did a how to knit video. And that was back in 2014, so a long time ago. And I wanted to do a new video just because that video was my first video and so I kind of didn't know what I was really doing. And I feel like now I can maybe explain things a little better, hopefully. And that first video had like an annoying background soundtrack that a lot of people didn't like. And so hopefully this new video is at least slightly a better explanation. But the cool thing is, is that the, the technique doesn't change. I mean, I'm showing you the exact same thing that I showed you in that video from a long time ago. So you can go back and watch that video. I'm showing you the exact same pattern of scooping off the loops and adding new loops to it. So when you're finished with that second row now, um, you can see a little bit more of what we're doing. We've built up the row a little bit more. So we've got more stitches. We've got two layers of stitches now. And I'm just gonna keep going. So I'm gonna flip my work over again. So you always want the working yarn or the yarn that's attached to the ball of yarn. You always want that part of the yarn at the very start of your needle. So you can dive right into it and start knitting the third row. Yeah, the third row. And I'm going to now, do not be alarmed, I'm not like super fast knitting. I, <laughs> I have pressed fast forward. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just speed through a couple more rows just so I can grow this out a little bit more and you can get a better idea of what your project should look like as you go along. So this is what I have after knitting a few more rows. I think I did maybe five or six more rows here. And hopefully this gives you a clearer picture of what it is we're doing here. So you're basically building up these rows of loops and you should have this kind of nice uniform fabric of little bumps that are all in these nice little rows. And it should look the same on either side. So you've got the same, pretty much the same look on either side. It's okay, obviously, if you've messed up or if you've got a little bit of gap here or there. Even mine's not perfect here, like at the beginning and on the edges. It's not as clean as it totally could be, but that's totally fine. I mean, it's knitting. It's not the end of the world. It's supposed to be just a fun meditative thing that you're doing, really. So from here, I'm just going to keep doing what I was doing. I'm going to go right into my rows and keep knitting and making it longer and longer. And the more rows you do, the more this is gonna grow out. And at least for mine, this could be a very skinny scarf, but it could be a scarf if I make it long enough. Um, so you can do that. Your other option would be to finish it up if you want to learn how to cast off and actually learn how to get the project off of these needles. Um, I've got another video up that I'll show you where I actually walk you through how to cast off the stitches, so how to end the project. You don't just slip the needles off, obviously. 
there is a certain way of getting the project off of your needle. So in that video, I cover that. So feel free to check that out if you wanna learn how to finish up your knitting project. The other option is to learn the second stitch in knitting. So knitting is basically two stitches. This first stitch that you've just learned now in this video is called the knit stitch, so knitting. The second stitch to learn is called the purl stitch, P-U-R-L. And that stitch is kind of mm, not quite the opposite of the knit stitch, but it works the yarn a different way. And when you combine that purl stitch with the knit stitch, you can create different types of fabric. So that's how you get like a ribbed sweater or how you can make it's kind of how you can make cables or the stock in it stitch that you see in like normal t-shirts and that kind of thing. That is the combination of knitting and purling. So if you want to learn how to do that second stitch, it is a little bit more complicated than the knit stitch, but it's basically the same principles. It's just a different movement of the needles. If you want to learn the purl stitch, check out that video. If you want to learn how to finish casting off your project, check out my video on how to cast off your knitting. Otherwise, just keep on knitting until this grows into an enormous scarf. Hopefully that was helpful and now you are a knitting master well on your way to knitting your own pair of socks or hat. Um, remember to like and subscribe if you found this to be particularly helpful. And also, uh, definitely check out my other videos that I have that kind of build off the basics of knitting. Um, if you want to learn how to knit socks or a hat, I've got videos for that too. Um, otherwise, I will see you next time.